let's look at how we can calculate a correlation in Excel using the data analysis tool. Here we have Beep Beep's bedtime snacks. Now, if you're not familiar with Beep Beep, he's a bear who's studying statistics. And he tends to drink Coke and cookies, drink Coke and eat cookies before going to bed. And here we have some data on how many cans of Coke and how many cookies he eats uh, uh, for the last three nights before going to, uh, to bed. What we want to do is we want to calculate the correlation between these uh, data points. Now, we've only got three data points, and normally you wouldn't calculate a calculation with just three points. But you can, um, and so we're going to do it because it's just simple to fo simpler to follow what's going on. Normally, you'd have 20, 30, 100, 300, 1,000, some, some large number. So here we have uh, the data, and I've put it in table form already with Coke in one column and cookies in the other column. And I'm going to go to data, and I have the data analysis tool pack installed. And if you don't, make sure you watch the video on how to install it. I click data analysis, and it asks me, what do I want to do? And I want to calculate the correlation. So uh, let's see. Uh, that's up here, correlation. OK. And it says the input range. And what I want to do is I want to cal I have to put all the columns of data that I want to calculate correlations for here. So I'm going to click in here. And I'm going to do shift arrows to select the entire table. They're grouped by columns. Each variable is in one column. And I've got the labels, Coke and Cookies, in the first row of what I have highlighted. Now I click on the output range. Now be careful here because there's a little bug in the program. So when you click on output range, the cursor goes up to the input. So I need to put the cursor in output. And then I'm going to, uh, I want the uh, correlation uh, table to start here. So I'll put D4 here. And I press OK. And it gives me a little correlation table. It has the two variables that we're looking at. And if I had three variables, it would have three, both in this column and in this row. And the diagonal has a bunch of ones in it. And that's because the number of cans of Coke is always perfectly correlated to the uh, cans of Coke and the number of cookies is always perfectly correlated to the cookies. But what we're interested in is how are the cookies correlated with the Coke? Now, that's a lot of decimal points. I'm going to change this first. I'm going to go to Home, and under Number, I'm going to change this to Number Format to round it to 2. And so here we see a negative 0.94 correlation. And that means it's strongly negatively correlated. And if I do a quick scatter plot here, we can see uh, that it is strongly correlated. Uh, in, I put the cursor in the one. I go to Insert, Scatter Plot, choose the first one. And we can see that, yes, it forms very close to a perfectly straight line. Um, and so the correlation is minus 0.94.